Hey there, LifeWay family. Hope you're doing well this afternoon. It is great to be seen by you. Wish I could see you myself. Um, just want to encourage you to go ahead and download our Bible reading plan at arlingtonlifeway.com. You can just click on the tab that says In the Word and you can find it there. Um, go ahead and download that so that we can all be digging in the Word together in the same places. Now, if you've been following along in the plan, you know that we've been in the book of Psalms in the Old Testament, and we've also been in the book of Ephesians. Well, this afternoon, I want to talk about Ephesians 6. It's one of my favorite sections of Scripture, partly because it deals with the whole armor of God, and you know that I love swords and armor and shields and things like that. Um, so I love the description that Paul takes. It would have been something that he was describing that everybody would have understood at that time. But I kind of want to get into a little bit of a, a small snippet of the nitty gritty. I think oftentimes we look at this section of scripture and we look at it in terms of the cute Christian platitude, platitude that we can put out there that encourages us. You know, the thing that we put on t-shirts or we put on small miniature suits of armor or shields or different things like that. We, we put on our uh, Facebook profiles and, and things of that nature. And I think sometimes we reduce the idea of the whole armor of God to something that just allows us to get through another day. What can I do to get through this day? What can I do to fight through? What can I do to just survive another moment? This is something so much more than that. This is something so much bigger. This wasn't intended for the purpose of just a self-preservation kind of tactic, but this was given to us to war. To war against an enemy that wants to do anything to knock down what matters to God, to the heart of God. In fact, it says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers, over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And then it goes on to say, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. And then it goes on to describe what the different elements of the whole armor of God entails. I want to encourage you again, um, as I said just a moment ago, this isn't specifically for the purpose of just trying to survive. God made us more than just for survival. And I understand that there are times in life that we are dealing with difficult situations and the enemy is attacking us relentlessly and he's trying to get inside our head. He's trying to tear us down. He's trying to take out what God is drawing near to himself. And I do understand that. But this is so much bigger. We live in a day and age where the word is being assaulted. The church is being assaulted. What we stand on as foundations of God's truth in understanding his sovereignty, his love, his grace, his mercy, his justice, all of those different elements that matter to the heart of God are under assault right now in our culture. And what Paul is saying here is that he's saying you have to put on this full armor because in this day and age, you're going to battle some things that are going to try and take out what you believe, what matters to you. They're going to try and weaken your foundation. They're going to try and fill you with lies and draw you away. But more importantly than all of that is this readiness you need to have this readiness. You need to be ready to go. When somebody put on the armor of God, they were ready for battle. And it's interesting, when you look at the scripture and it says to stand and to stand firm, it actually gives this picture of to stand, take on the assault, and then begin to move forward. And that's what it's describing here. Well, what are we moving forward, forward with? We're not moving forward with our own best self-interest or our own heart desires or anything of that nature. We are allowing God to fill us with his desire and we are moving forward with something very intentional. In fact, Paul talks about it at the end of this little paragraph. He says, to that end, and he's talking about, you know, you've put on the armor, you're praying at all times. Um, he says, to that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints, praying for, for all of us. And also for me, that words may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel. We are called as a gospel community. We are called to go out and to share the good news. 
We are called to bring forth this message of hope, of life, and light to those that are desperately seeking it. We are putting on the armor not so that we can get through the moon, mundane activities that seem to bog us down or, um, or the frustrations or, or difficulties that we face because of our own rebellion. We're putting on the armor so that we can become stronger. We can understand what God's will is as we move forward and proclaim the gospel to a world that desperately needs to hear it. That's why we're putting on the armor. So church, I'm encouraging you to put on the armor so that we can move forward, not just stand, but stand, deal with the assault, and then begin to move forward and bring this message of, of hope and life to the world around us. We are, we are gospel-centered people. We are a gospel-centered church, and we need to bring the gospel, the truth of Jesus, the hope of Jesus to a world that is so desperately seeking it. So put on your armor, church. Put on your armor, because it's time to go to war. Let's bring the good news. Amen? I hope you are blessed today. If you have needs or there are things that are going on that you need encouragement or um, you just need some, some help or some resources, please don't hesitate to email us. Uh, you can email me, chat at arlingtonlifeway.com or info at arlingtonlifeway.com, prayer at arlingtonlifeway.com, or you can drop a message uh, in to our phone here at 360-722-5764. Uh, we would love to hear from you and uh, make sure that you're doing okay. So blessings on you. We're praying for you. Stay strong and put on that armor. God bless.